Harding. I'm the principal flutist of the Omaha Symphony. The concept I wanted to talk to you about today is brilliant double tonguing. We as flutists are called upon to play lots and lots of notes in a very brilliant fashion. And sometimes uh, articulating those notes with clarity can be challenging. One thing that I'd encourage you to do is to never approach the notes too, too short, because if your listeners can't hear the pitch, who cares how quickly your tongue is moving? Then the double tongue won't sound brilliant. So even if you see lots of dots indicating staccato, I would encourage you to kind of think of them just a little bit fatter when you're double tonguing. I'm going to use as an example the solo from the finale of Beethoven's Eroica Symphony. <laughs> Now to get all of those 16th notes to come out clearly, I'm actually thinking of them pretty fat. If I thought of them too, too short, it might sound like this. And you can't really appreciate the notes that I'm playing, so think of them quite a bit longer. There's a couple different ways that you can practice this on your own. One is just to take a scale that you're really comfortable with and think taka 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 all the way through just on a single note and then the first four notes like this. I guess that's five notes. And then go on to the next note. So I'm saying taka 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 one two three four five taka 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 one two three four five and you can work your way up the whole scale doing this. Once you've practiced the double tonguing in the context of a scale, you can then apply it to music. So that same solo that I did in the Beethoven Eroica might sound like this. <laughs> And it really encourages me to keep the air moving, and then you can just piece it together and find where the problem sections are and work those a little bit more. <laughs> 